Are you serious? Are you serious? NASA's found a new moon. Um, not a blood moon, a new moon. And it's, it is orbiting a planet, a little dinky planet, smaller than Pluto, called Make Make. All right, now get this. It was discovered by the Hubble Telescope. NASA's Hubble Telescope uh, in space has once again made a remarkable discovery. The astronomers operating the Hubble developed a moon orbiting a dwarf planet called Make Make. <laughs> Why that? Why that, that, that name? It could have come up with a better name than Make Make unless you know who the maker of all creation is. And then, well, then it's Alpha and Omega, not Make Make. Well, Make Make is the third largest currently known object directly past the orbit of Neptune. It is also roughly estimated two-thirds the size of Pluto. NASA's astronomers are hoping that more observations and data collected on this moon might reveal more information about Makemake's overall mass. All right. Uh, astronomers using the Hubble Space Telescope discovered the moon orbiting the dwarf planet Make Make, and uh, they uh, the Hubble Space Telescope has been an instrumental part of space exploration in studying our outer solar system. It also discovered four of the five moons orbiting Pluto. All right, so I'm wondering, you know, you know, you know, you know that uh, they're looking for. Planet X, Planet X, or Nibiru, Planet 7X. They're not telling you everything they see, but if you can see this moon orbiting a dwarf planet on the outer, out edges of our solar system, then you got to know that they got an eye on Nibiru, Planet X. So, we'll continue to watch this. Anyway, very good article. Uh, you can check out more information about it. He has a great video on the discovery at my son's website, Crusader Journal. Check it out. I'll put the link below. Go check it out. And uh, fascinating information. As, as NASA stays in, the, they, they keep talking about what they're seeing on the edges of, the, uh, of our solar system. And, uh, and they're admitting, well, they admitted in 84 they found it, 1984. Then they backed away, even though they had a secret uh, teams that were part of it. Some of it was secret, some of it wasn't secret. Uh, you know, the, Plut the uh, Nibiru project and all of these things that's been going on. And the gravitational pull, the volcanic eruptions, the earthquakes everywhere, the sinkholes opening up, the, the thunderbolts coming down. Uh, the the atmospheric pressure, the this the ex volatility. I mean, the unbelievable explosiveness of the sun, like we've never seen before. Uh, so yes, yes, something is pulling the earth apart. The birthing pains of the coming of Jesus Christ, the end of an age. So be watching for the rise of the Antichrist, because all of these signs are driving us to the end. So you're going to see the emergence soon, the emergence of the beast. Keep an eye on that. They're going to go hand in hand. Whatever's going on in the spiritual world is manifesting in the physical. I'll be back with some more current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy. Read, go read Revelation 13, the rise of the beast. It's coming. It's coming fast.